Hey everybody, today of course is Friday. Welcome to PT Showbiz Top 5. I'm glad you guys tuned in. I hope you guys enjoy me all weekend long with all the latest entertainment news. Uh, again, don't forget this weekend is going to be a great weekend. You go, guys go out and have a great time and get your party on. But don't drink and drive, okay? But if you're drinking, drink you some of this PT's punch. Alright, uh, before I go into the uh, PT Showbiz Top 5, I want to let you guys know on tomorrow is World AIDS Day. We will never forget. Let's not forget the people who are suffering and people who are living with HIV now and people who have, who have died uh, from HIV and AIDS. Let's not forget and the fight still continues and this is why I have a little red background right here in remembrance of my friends who have passed on. Alright, let's get right to it. Showbiz Top 5. Number 5, I'm going to be talking about the mess that went down in Dallas today with this Amber Goller lady who was indicted for manslaughter. I'm going to give you guys my opinions on all of that, okay? And the Showbiz Top 5. Number 4, Starbucks has some new rules for all you who like to watch porn. Mm, poor me. <laughs> Because you know I love to go to Starbucks and of course you'll be stop five. Number three, Funky Dineva said somebody's child was ugly. Uh-huh, superstar. And she lives in Houston. Well, she's from Houston. I'll tell you who it is. And of course, show top five. Number two, 50 Cent hates his own child. Oh, what a mess. Lord, she just get her ass someone for that. I'm talking about 50 Cent. And of course, I'm going to talk about this NeNe Leaks mess that's going on with her and her husband on social media. Oh, NeNe, girl, sit down somewhere. Let's get right to it. All right, everybody, again, welcome to the show. Again, I am PT. This is called PT Showbiz Top 5, child. Somebody said, ooh, let me tune in so I can get the tea. Sit your ass down somewhere. This ain't no damn tea. This is called PT's Punch. Let's see how it tastes today. Damn. Oh, yes, honey. Ooh. No, honey, there ain't no tea over here. It's called PT's Punch. All right, let's get right to it. Well, you guys, uh, most of you guys know I moved here from Dallas, Texas, and... I know you guys probably heard about the situation that was going on with a cop. I'll say it killed the young black man there in Dallas. Well, she mistakenly claimed she mistakenly thought she was going to her apartment. Girl, sit your ass down somewhere. You was not going to the wrong apartment. You know exactly what she was doing because nothing looked the same when you walked into that damn apartment. Even still then, like, you just... The man didn't put no gun on you. you I mean, come on. Y'all know damn well that this girl, in my mind, killed this young man uh, because she just wanted to kill another black soul. And so she was indicted today for manslaughter, which I think they need to they need to bring it on up to 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 uh, murder, which the family wants to happen. They want to bring it up to murder. But this is just a horrible, sad situation. And I just think that, you know, you just, just never know when you're gonna leave her child. But my thing is this. You know, this black cop, these these black, these cops killing black young men needs to stop. Like, it really needs to stop because it's like, when is it going to stop? You know, you just never know. Listen, honey, I already told y'all, honey, when I'm driving in my car and the police police try to pull me over, girl, I'm going to be sitting in my car. They pull me over. Hey, what's the team, police officer? Huh? Bitch, I'll be so real and flamboyant. Honey, they'll be like, oop. That's all right, we're gonna keep going. It's just sad. You just you don't you don't know but and I was reading something in the blog today when these cops were indicted for beating this guy where well, he, he was a police officer and he went undercover as a as a protester and they didn't know that he was a cop and they was beating the hell out of him. They tried to just a big mess. So you know, you just anyway, prayers for uh, this young man's family and uh Hopefully they go ahead and up these charges to murder because she definitely needs to be charged for murder because that's what she did. She murdered this man in his own damn apartment. That's a shame you ain't safe nowhere. Anyway, shout out to all the people in Dallas, Texas. All right, let's move on to show me top five number four. Let's talk about Starbucks. You know, I'm a regular at Starbucks child. You know, I go there every other day. I'm up in Starbucks. Too bad I can't have none of the dairy stuff because it's not good for me. But anyway, child, you know, Starbucks is uh, starting to ban all the people that's going to Starbucks. I can't even get it out. It's so funny. They're are starting to ban people that go to Starbucks, child, because they, you know, if you go in there getting on porn and stuff, they're gonna be. <laughs> well, I don't watch porn at Starbucks. I don't. Well, I do get on social media, but that, I don't get on like the porn sites. I get on this thing called Grinder and uh, you know these little social media sites, but never the, like the nasty, nasty stuff. But I, well, uh, kudos to Starbucks, honey. <laughs> 
So if you go in there and you watching uh, Pornhub and all these other things and Starbucks well, honey, they getting ready to put a stop to that. So again, uh, starting next year, they say they have had enough. I mean, think about it. You don't want to go to no damn Starbucks and you sit up at Starbucks and you know kids be in there. You know young kids be in the damn Starbucks. You sit over there watching porn and, and then sometimes it slips, uh, 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 and it slips out sometime and then, then all of a sudden, you know, the kids over there. Even though we know kids watch porn anyway. Huh? Because you know, I was watching when I was young. We're well, not that young, but I was watching that. We know we snuck away watching, but we had the VHS tapes. Ooh, I went way back. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so they're going to be stopping that. So if you go to Starbucks and you're watching porn, honey, they're getting ready to put an end to that. All right, let's move on. This is the showbiz top five, number three. So let's talk about Funky Dineva and what she said about Jay Z's daughter. Blue Ivy. Well, of course, you know, she was on the show with uh, T.S. Madison. Shout out to T.S. Madison. I'm still waiting on my invite. So, um, so girl, she was on the show. They was on the show. They was up there talking to stuff. You know, fucking Aniva has always had this type of mouth where she says this and she says that and she push, pushes the button. I do watch fucking Aniva from time to time. Well, she called Blue Ivy ugly. Ugh. <laughs> No, 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 Blue Ivy, honey, the children are off limits. No, honey, the children are off limits. Well, you know, she got in trouble last year where she did some stuff with the NFL football player Cordell Stewart, where he's claiming that she grabbed a, um, she, she created a fake email and she grabbed a video of him nude and she acted as if, you know, that the video was shared by somebody else through a fake email. And Cordell is insisting that, um, uh, and he also insisted that uh, that Tyler Perry was having a, a, a was supposed to be getting married to Cordell. What a big mess! I mean, you know, I, listen, uh, I, I just kids are off limits, and you know, I just can't believe fucking Anita would call this little girl ugly. I mean, you know, hey, listen, children grow into themselves. You know, kids when they're young, they look a certain way, but then when they get older, you know, some of us. You know, when we were young, we you know we was not that attractive. And then when you get older, you know, you bloom into yourself. But I just think kids are off limits. And I think Funky Dineva was way out of line, way out of line for calling Blue Ivy ugly. And baby, they is laying into him on Instagram and social media. They are trying to get all his stuff taken down. You know, but anyway, I, I just, I, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't go there. I would just stay away from the kids. I just don't think that Fun Funky Dineva was right. I think that Funky Dineva was way out of line for calling Blue Ivy ugly. Plus on top of that fucking Dineva's ugly. So how can you call somebody ugly when you're ugly? But anyway. <laughs> Ooh, hello? Yes. Hold on, it's uh, T.S. Madison. Yes, ma'am. Uh-huh. She was on your show, right? Well, she said that about me. That wasn't right. Well, they're trying to take her social media down. She shouldn't say that about little kids and stuff. All right, how you doing, T.S. Madison? Girl, I'm still waiting to come on your show. All right, that was that was uh, T.S. Madison. I told you I have celebrities in the other room. I can't afford to bring them over here. <laughs> so let's move on. All right, let's move on. This is going to be Showbiz Top 5. This is going to be number 2. But, child, you know, I'm always talking about Curtis Jackson, a.k.a. 50 Cent. I'm so sick of him. I'm so sick of him. This fool that got on social media talking about if his son was hit by a car today, he wouldn't feel nothing. No type of pain or nothing. Well, 50 Cent, you need to sit your ass down somewhere. He's upset and he's mad because, well, first of all, you know, uh, 50 Cent has, you know, a son uh, by the lady and she, go by, she goes by the name, I got the name wrote down, and of course they don't have a great relationship and she tried to sue him for so many millions of dollars and the, it was thrown out of court or whatever the case may be. And so therefore, you know, the son is not really a fan of 50 Cent. And you know, the kids mostly stick with the mother, which sometimes they do. And a lot of times, you know, the sons go with the dad. Well, the son is not a, is not a fan of 50 Cent. As a matter of fact, he took the social media last night and the last month, year and went off on uh, his own daddy and said his, his music was tired, his music was late. <laughs> And, you know, so on and so on. You know, he voiced his opinion on his dad. So, and of course now 50 Cent again is saying that he wished that his son pretty much was dead. His name is uh, Marquise Jackson. He's 21 years old. He's a, he's a, he's supposedly a, a rapper. I've never heard of any of his stuff. And um, 
he was with uh, 50 Cent's rival, uh, is one of his rival uh, or rival artists, which who goes by the name of uh, Supreme McGriff. Supreme McGriff. I'm not into the rap stuff, but Supreme Griff and him took a picture together, and oh, and you know, 50 Cent was hot. You know, so man, he just pretty much said, yeah, if this little Negro got hit by a bus. He wouldn't even have a bad day. But you know, I know 50 Cent is saying that, but at the end of the day, I think at the end of the day, that he would feel some type of way. Because at the end of the day, that's your blood. You know, we, we get into it with our family members, child, and stuff, but you know, at the end of the day, that's our blood. But then again, there's some family members you, <laughs> you really don't care about. Ooh, okay, so anyway, so the mother is Shaniqua Tompkins. Yeah, she tried to sue him for $50 million. Girl, you should, you should have just won for five million, girl. <laughs> she probably would have got that. That's if 50 cents even have that. I don't even know. Ah! <laughs> 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 Well, hell, he got more than me. <laughs> but anyway, all right, we're going to move on to Showbiz Top 5. This is going to be number one, and this is going to be Juicy. This is about Nene Leakes, who I can't... Oh, for the Rita Mess out of her. Let's move on. Okay, everybody, this is Showbiz Top 5. This is going to be number one, and this is going to be Juicy. Well, girl, this is about Nene Leakes and, of course, Greg, her husband, who's dealing with cancer. Well, I don't know if you guys got the memo or not, but they went to social media and they were going in on each other. Here's some of the things that happened. Well, first of all, Greg is dealing with cancer. And a lot of people who go through cancer and myth, or who go through these diseases and stuff, you know, whatever they are, sometimes you're not really there. You know, you're not mentally there. And, uh, well, she took to social media and she said, she, Nene basically said, I want you guys to know all of this in case I leave. In case I leave, I want you guys to know what's going on. And Greg posted a message, message and he said, thank you to all the men who have been there in my life. Basically saying Nene hasn't been there. And I think this is so horrible because a lot of people are saying, maybe they're doing this for the ratings. How horrible would this be if they're doing this for the ratings of housewives? I just talked about the housewives the other day, how they're struggling for numbers right now because, you know, it's, it's getting boring. You know, Nene's almost 60. <laughs> and, you know, and they, they brought in Eva and some new girls. And it's just, it, it's to me, it's just a failing show. And I, I know a lot of people still watch it, but you know, it's just, it's not the same. And so for them to take, for Nene to, to, she, to me, to me, she should have been a better woman and not went to social media with her husband who's dealing with cancer. Again, he's not in his right mind. And, you know, she's pretty much just saying that, you know, I can't take you anymore. You know, you're giving me too much. Of course, Nene, he's dealing with cancer. See, this is why I had an issue with Nene when I met Nene years ago. And that's why Nene, well, that's why that stuff went down with uh, my friend Lunell. And Nene, when Lunell went to go support her for the show, and she went off on her, calling her Cisco. And talk, baby, baby, first of all, Nene, you can never, it will ever, never, ever be a comedian. And those who don't know the comedy world don't really know what comedian, being a comedian is. It's not about getting up there telling, not telling jokes, but saying a few jokes jokes and then laying into everybody because every average queen can get a mic and lay lay into everybody and read everybody that's not a comedian I've seen some more I've seen Lunell I've seen Cheryl Underwood I've seen all these great comics actually get up and do stand up just because you get up and read somebody does not mean that you are a comedian Nene Leakes and this man is dealing with cancer how dare you sit up there and go off with this man on social media it's not right you know, and so she took to Twitter and she took to Twitter and said, you know, Greg pretty much, you know, she said uh, on Twitter that if you had cancer and stuff, why would you be so evil? Oh my God, Nene Leaks. Why would you be so evil and go off on Nene? Uh, why you, Nene, why would you be so evil and go off on my friend Lunell when she knows exactly what she's doing? She's been doing this way longer than you. She wasn't hating at the fact that she was trying to be a comedian, but she came to support you and you went off on her for what? I've seen her do stand-up. I've seen some more do stand-up. People, oh yeah, ooh, she hating on Lunell, Lunell hating on her because she do stand-up. That ain't no damn stand-up. Right, that's the difference. If you don't know the difference between talking about somebody and stand-up comedy, it's a big difference. Hell, I try stand-up comedy. It's not easy. You know, it's not easy. It's not easy. And I think this this is horrible. People are saying that this is only for the show because the show is failing. I reported this yesterday. 
the, the, the Housewives of Atlanta. It's not what it used to be. Hell, I don't even watch Empire anymore. It, it, you know, things change. Things happen and things change. So it's like, wow, you will get on social media and hopefully they're not doing this for the ratings. This would be horrible if they're doing this for the ratings. I don't know. I'll keep you guys posted. But I'm PT with PT Show Best Top 5. I'm glad you guys tune in. Thanks for tuning in. Please, whatever you do, have a great weekend. And please remember those who are suffering and living with HIV. Uh, tomorrow is World AIDS Day. Please wear your red, uh, light a candle or something to that sort. All right, and don't forget, um, um, uh, if you would like to be on our cruise, PT Showbiz Top, top 5 Cruise, you can email me at ptshowbiztop5 at gmail.com. All right, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. Like, subscribe, and comment. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in. And if you live in the Dallas area, I'm going to be coming to Dallas real soon. My girl, um, Phyllis, she's going to be getting married. Yes. So I'm going to be there and be hosting some stuff for her. And I love you guys. Thanks for tuning in to PT Showbiz Top 5. You guys take care. Shout out to all the people that watch me on Facebook Live. See y'all soon. Bye. And if you live in the Virginia area, my girl Lunell will be at the Funny Bone. Go to HeyLunell.com for more information. Virginia, get up on it. See you. Have a great weekend, y'all.